Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. Today I think it's going to be fairly short but I'm going to show you the difference a microphone can make from um, changing the whole feel of your entire video. Thumbnail time, I can't figure out how to make an interesting thumbnail so here goes. Microphone's the dirty little secret. So, when I make a video, I have to make different choices. For example, which uh, camera do I want to use? Do I want to use my Fancy Pants 4K GH5S camera? Do I want to use a cheaper GoPro? Um, but also, what kind of microphone do I want to use? Right now, I'm using this um, Rode NT. 1A, I think it's called, and that goes into my Focusrite Scarlett um, AD converter because this one needs a 48 volt phantom power to run. So there's a number of different microphones I can choose to use, and right now I am recording with my computer and recording audio with my computer and video with my camera, of course. So sometimes I use the um, wireless microphone and I'm just going to switch to that now and show you so you can hear the difference between that. I only have one audio input on my computer, so I can't have <laughs> multiple microphones into that at one time. Sadly, I wish I could, but uh, let's see what the difference is here so now i'm on the wireless microphone i'm sitting in the same location and trying to keep everything the same um but it is now sending the signal wirelessly back to the, um, the scarlet again to the uh, focus right ad converter so it's the same audio input i'm using right now for for the microphone and as you can hear the sound is quite different from this microphone um and also the microphone here might be too close up to my neck and sometimes if you swallow and you get a lot of unfortunate noises <laughs> included but it's kind of hard when you're wearing a shirt to have it in a, in a good location so this is all good and fine and well from when i'm sitting at the computer but when i'm using the camera i have to connect the wireless uh, receiver to the camera and i seem to have noticed that it does sound a bit different from when I'm recording onto the computer or I haven't been entirely happy with the audio quality when I've been using my GH5S and something like that. So let's put that to the test right now and uh, you can hear if that sounds any different. So now I am recording on the wireless microphone and it is the it is the camera that is recording and not the computer right now. So when I have the re computer recording the audio and the camera doing video, I just synchronize the audio in Final Cut Pro 10 so it can, uh, and then use the audio track from the recording and the um, video from the camera, of course. So what you could do if you not were satisfied with the audio input on the video camera or the camera, you could have a separate recording device and then sync them up afterwards but that does make videos a great deal more um, complicated to make so but i do that sometimes just to make it <laughs> the audio sound better of course i could go one step lower and just don't care about it at all and use the um the audio in my gopro hero 6 so this is what it sounds like in the gopro hero 6 it has three microphones and something broke in it shortly after i got it uh, so the audio where it can uh, prevent wind noise that doesn't work and just cut off everything. It seems to have three audio tracks. Uh, I only can find three audio tracks. And when I set it to the pro mode, it saves a separate wave file so I can um, uh, I can um, what is, I can decide which audio track I will use. So if I don't use the wind detection thing, and then I can figure out which of those three um, audio tracks are the best in case I have used that. But I've always been unhappy with the, um, the solution with the GoPro Hero 6. So the last thing I purchased was yet another microphone that goes into my iPhone. Uh, so that is yet another option. And that was because I was not very happy with the Hero 6. And I figured why not use the iPhone as a mobile 
video recording device and then just get the microphone closer to me than I'm speaking so I won't get a lot of noise because if I'm recording the car for example I there's a lot of noise around you and the closer the microphone gets to me I can uh, make a better sounding uh, quality audio so uh, now we can give that a shot right so this is a big end test here the big finale of my video here um, now I'm recording on multiple different microphones actually I am using the Rode uh, for the iPhone here. Um, so this is like a, a portable audio recorder right here for your recording audio if you don't think your camera is good enough. I am also recording directly on the built-in camera on the GH5S and the GoPro Hero 6. And of course, and this is where the whole thing now opens up. It becomes like, ah, how pleasant. I am also recording on this microphone again and the only thing I have been changing in edit right now is the audio levels trying to match them match them as good as I can I haven't done any um, equalizing of any sort just changing the audio levels now there is one thing we have to uh, take into consideration here when using these um, uh, microphones in the cameras and that is this room is not very good for recording audio because I have all my big uh, computer screens and I have the walls uh, that are reflecting audio and I also have the pinball machine behind me that's making a bit of noise so um, sound dampening material on the walls would be prefer preferred and the microphones from the uh, on the cameras are a bit further away when this one so they will be catching some more reverb and stuff like that so yeah um that is worth taking into consideration so well that's it um which microphone did you think were the best and the worst i think this one is the best one but um, of course it's usually up to people's own personal preference what they like the most so that's it for today until next time have fun on the interwebs oh.